200,000 years ago in the cold reaches of the Tibetan Plateau, children took a brief moment to plunge their hands into the soft mud of some natural springs. Perhaps a pair of siblings or maybe two friends, we'll never know. This mud would eventually turn into travertine, a freshwater limestone formed at natural springs. Hundreds of thousands of years later, this small moment of prehistory would be known as one of the earliest examples of art. Its designation as art is of course controversial. Footprints are known from the hominin fossil record, but handprints are nearly entirely absent. To add to this, the evidence seems to be deliberately placed. The arrangement of the prints defies any practical explanation such as walking or falling. The prints were not smeared or dragged, and they were pushed into the sediment with their hands spread wide and pulled straight out. The notion that they were art is admittedly hard to prove, but it is apparent that they were made on purpose. We have no idea what these hominins were thinking when placing their hands into mud. Did they simply think the mud felt cool, were they comparing hand sizes, or were they leaving their prints to tell others they were there? We will never know what they thought, and unfortunately their motive is part of the designation of art. Hands have historically been used as a form of artwork. The upper Pleistocene is packed with red ochre handprints. A practice of placing a hand on a surface and then blowing pigment over the hand. These prints very well could have been made with a similar intention. But these were made by children. It is estimated that one would have been around 7 years old and the other around 12. The fact that these were made by kids may actually tell us something. Children are typically more playful and imaginative than adults. They see their world through their lens without the more rigid aspects of life. Whereas adults may see no point in decorating something or even placing their hands into some mud, children are expressing themselves. Perhaps much of our evolution is due to the free-flowing minds of kids. If we take for example lithic technology, we see traditions that span thousands of years. It would take a creative mind to question why this tradition made this tool this certain way to change things. Perhaps the ideas of children were influential in the changing of the technology. What species these prints exactly belong to is unknown. The hand suggests they were at least made by a species within our own genus. The candidates are Sapiens, Erectus, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. There is no evidence of Homo sapiens or Neanderthals in the area at the time. A late surviving population of Erectus is certainly possible, though it seems Denisovans are the best candidate. Denisovans lived on the Tibetan Plateau for a long time. But if the dating is correct, this would be the oldest evidence for hominins in the area. These handprints are dated between 169 and 226,000 years ago. A pretty wide range, but Denisovans would still be the prime candidate. We know that Denisovans were adapted to living at high altitudes. It would not be surprising to find them here. Modern Tibetans have a unique variant of the EPAS1 gene that helps with high altitude. It came from interbreeding with Denisovans. It is one of several other high altitude genes, and the other ones evolved within Sapiens and not some archaic ancestor. Though this gene is interesting. We have known for some time that Denisovans mated with modern humans. The presence of a high altitude gene tells us that at least the population of Denisovans from that area was well adapted to their mountainous terrain. We know that there are at least three distinct populations of Denisovans. The population living in the Tibetan Plateau also lived in Siberia and other parts of East Asia. The other two populations were found in southern China, New Guinea, and Oceania. You could imagine that these populations would have been quite different from each other. We don't really have any remains, so it is hard to tell. Middle Pleistocene Asian hominins are still shrouded in mystery, so who knows who really made these handprints. They remain a fascinating snapshot of time. A personal reminder that these people were not so different from you or I. This video was rather short, but that is because I am currently rather busy. 
Besides schoolwork, I have been working on my Homo heidelbergensis ancient human video. Many of you may know it just came out that researchers may not even be using the term Homo heidelbergensis anymore. I'm still making the video though because it contains a lot of info about the new species Homo bodoensis and information on Middle Pleistocene hominins. So that's all I have today, but if you want to go check out my merch, the products can be found in the store tab of my channel. To be honest, I'm not really going to make too much money from this, but it is really cool seeing you guys buy these products, so yeah, go ahead. Thank you. I really need to make a new outro, don't I? Anyways. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. Check out my Instagram and comment some video ideas down below. I make videos about history of humans, ancient animals, and the occasional full-length documentary. If that sounds interesting, check out the over 100 videos I have made. Well, I'll see you on the next episode of North O2. See ya.